I'm not too bad, how are you? Yeah, good, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited about today and uh, obviously the sun's out at the minute, so can't complain. Yeah, it was a, a, just a tad moist earlier on. Uh, I got a little bit fearful for you. Yeah, to be honest, I don't mind if the weather turns a bit sour because, uh, you know, it, um, it sorts out. Well, it gives us people from Yorkshire a bit of an advantage, doesn't it, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, if it, if it rains, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, obviously coming from Yorkshire, from Doncaster yourself, uh, do you, the other people on your team, are they just plying you for information about the roads around here? Yeah, I mean, I don't know it like the back of my hand. Obviously, Yorkshire's a big county, but I have, um, because I don't live too far away, I've come and wrecked all the stages, so I do know them now. And, um, yeah, on the team meeting, I was kind of trying to help just to chat about the, the conditions of the different roads and stuff and little things to watch out for, which, you know, all these little advantages on, on home roads, they do add up. So uh, hopefully we can put that to some good, u- good use. Is there, is there any part of the next three days that, that you're really looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to the whole, whole lot. I mean... I don't, I don't know how the race is going to unfold to be honest it's easy to make well it's hard to make predictions but I think ultimately uh, anything could happen at any point over the next three days you know tomorrow's supposed to be the, the sprint day but it's uh, it, it could be absolutely split to pieces so yeah it's just going to be a case of staying vigilant and taking the opportunities when they come up I think and is there anything over the next three days that you look at the course that you're a little bit fearful of I think every day could be very dangerous if it's if it's ridden aggressively at certain points in the race so um yeah the, the, there's going to be no point over the next three days where you can sit back and have a chat with your mates and, and that kind of thing but I mean obviously stage three is going to be particularly difficult regardless of how they race it even if we just rode around together it'd be a really hard day out so yeah I'm expecting some fireworks on uh, Sunday well I was going to talk about Sunday because my wife's doing the uh, Tour de Yorkshire uh, Sportif on oh, yeah. Sunday morning and uh, I wonder would you have any advice for her ahead of that uh, ride out 50k she's doing on Sunday morning yeah yeah 50k you know it's a fair old distance still and um, there's plenty of climbs so I'd just say respect the event that you're doing get a good night's sleep good meal the night before get up and have a decent breakfast and uh, just, all those little simple things they go without saying but a lot of people miss them and take some food with your bananas and flapjacks and whatnot, whatnot and you'll you'll be all right and just uh, ride within yourself yeah i shall pass that on to you yeah. uh, tom good luck thanks very much for joining us all right pleasure cheers